Let's go to our first game. <laughs> our first game is Cunning Linguistics. Yay. Cunning Linguistics is where we went on to Urban Dictionary. We found a few words or phrases. We're going to give a word or phrase to each team. The team will have opportunity to come up with a definition for the words or phrases. If they get it right, they get points. If they get it wrong, the other team gets an opportunity to come up with their own definition. If nobody gets it right, I get to pick who has the most pretty hair, and I give them points for it. So Blaine is still trying to process what's going on. I don't know. Right like, now. How so long have you guys been planning this or anything? I've oh, told about you. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Leading up to you guys were like, how much, how much time? How much time till? And then as soon as we went live, you guys were like, whoop. So. <laughs> Orchestrated. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really happy right now. Yeah. I'm just really happy. Let's play games. On the happy moment, <laughs> let's play games. Let's play some happy games. I love games. I All right. All right. Let's go to Team Rose Pants. Rose, Rose Pants. Pants. For your first word, what's your word? Zombie leg. What's a zombie leg? All right. So I'm assuming that this is something that's similar to the stanky leg, which is a dance move where you go like this, oh. but it's less. It's less of a dance move and more of like just like a sad like someone actually has a dysfunction with their leg and kind of just like drag it along. Are you make, making fun of handicapped people? Yeah, not necessarily, not per se. It sounds like what your team would yeah. say. Yeah, but I feel like I do not approve of this message. I, okay, wait. Listen, I am on First the spot. Off, what's this? Show me the stanky leg. Uh, well, you gotta get up and you do that. You do the stanky leg. Do this there thing you go. You gotta hold your do it. Hold your head for some reason. Okay, that was so, good. It's because you're so ashamed of your stanky. You actually, <laughs> you actually did that pretty well. Yeah, I was impressed. I, so it's like the stanky leg, but you gotta like, but for but legit, it's just like legit, like like you when walk. you legitimately have a problem that causes your leg to do that. Mm -hmm. That's the zombie leg. Or, or alternatively, oh, get, well, no, you don't get two answers. <laughs> Come on. There's no alternative. It's when you have yeah. dog shit on your foot and you're trying to wipe it off so you got one foot dragging the other one. Minus five points for giving two answers. All right. I, this is a great episode for that, Blaine. That could have been my answer for all you know. Yeah. I'm Barbara. But it wouldn't have been. Help Help maybe get some points. Zombie leg. Zombie leg. What's a zombie leg? Well, as we know, zombies walk very kind of slow and stiffly. The right kind of zombies. The right kind, right kind of zombies. Not the World War Z zombies. Yeah. And uh, so I'm going to say that it's when you've been sitting playing a video game or any type of activity and your leg falls asleep yeah and you try to get up really fast because the like doorbell this. rang or something's happening and your oh, leg and it's is like, asleep it's the limp you make and it's the like oh can't straighten leg it's asleep yeah run into the door kind of thing yeah have you ever like flat out fallen down because of that yep yeah that's happened that's a really proud moment as an adult when you're like <laughs> by yourself you're like yeah. i just fell because my leg's asleep it's even better if your children see it yep yeah yeah, whatever. Daddy doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> Your dog. <laughs> we, we can beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> Something's wrong with Daddy. Uh, those weren't exactly the uh, the definitions, so let's go see what you guys got. All three of our definitions? Ooh. All three. <laughs> uh, I'm going to... Uh, Barbara stole what I was thinking. Um, I have an idea of what okay. it is. I don't know I'll if it's what first. you're thinking. Nice shirt. Well, so you know when you're trying... Thank you. I actually uh, like your shirt. Nice boots. It's, yeah, it's white. Yeah. It's a good shirt. Um, you know, like when you're trying to give yourself the stranger... You know? <laughs> so like you sit on your hands and part of the byproduct of that is I'm you, very you, curious where you're going with this. Your leg falls asleep when you're giving your when you get the hand ready for the stranger. Oh. You have to sit and you're like, so basically people don't sit, don't you know ever talk about this but your leg is also asleep when you take out your dead hand. So it's like, like an entire definition. side of your body the is asleep. Side of you yeah, you've just you've ruined everything. There's no blood flow. So you have the zombie leg. And then you know, you have your zombie leg but it it, it goes away once you're giving yourself the stranger. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's it, right? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. I, I think I, I finally have something. Uh, I'm going to say <laughs> a, a zombie leg is like uh, when someone has restless leg syndrome. Like the like the leg has a life of its own. It's oh, just like it's an undead twitching, leg. Yeah, going RLS. on its own. Like you can't stop it. Yeah, and that's so. They, there's a, there's a fun name for that as yeah. well. <laughs> I, I saw it from RLS, also known as zombie, zombie leg. leg. <laughs> if you have RLS, go ask your doctor about zombie leg. Yeah, that that zombie wasn't leg. the definition. Shit. But uh, let's find out what the real definition was. Occurs uh, in the legs when sitting too long in an uncomfortable toilet seat. So Barbara was actually pretty close. It's when you actually like. Have when you, you ever had your leg fall asleep on a fucking toilet seat? Okay. Uh, uh, so whenever I'm on my phone or like Tinder, it's this is the position, and then like I, when I get up, I have red marks, <laughs> and they're like dead. Yeah. Let's go, and we've get that. You guys get points for that because you're actually Yay. very close. Rose pants. Let's find out the next word is for Team uh, Fan Fan. Oh. Spooky bomb. What's a spooky bomb? Spooky. A spooky bomb. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. Can I go first? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A spooky bomb is when you have a silent fart that you leave and then you walk away 
and then uh, people don't realize that it's there, yeah. and then they walk into it, and it's like spooky bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like jump back out and like into the room, like ha? Ah, no, 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 bomb. that ruins it. <laughs> because then it's like it could be like an extraterrestrial force, you know, if they that don't know, if they don't see. Yeah, I feel like that is totally no other, the answer. There's no other answer for that. That's no, got, no, that's, I got, one, I got one. Okay. Well, let's find out what Aaron's got. But that that's the answer. That is, well, let's see okay. if this might be another answer. All right. Well, you know, like when you're living in a country that's no. Know, and that's war torn, and like this big boom happens. You're like, man, that was spooky. Like, you know, okay, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like that, that, that was, wasn't as humorous as Gus's. That's, that's, that's a little more sad. <laughs> that wasn't. That but, was a little okay. more historical. Well, his is the right answer, and mine's. You, <laughs> you don't know. know that. We don't know. So that. you still had to make an attempt. I thought Barbara's answer was the right one last round, and I was wrong about that. Mm, uh, that's close. I didn't close. think her answer. Was if, right. if I may, you may a spooky bomb is when you go into the toilet and you're just like, I, I have this giant, massive shit to take. Yeah. It's just huge. It's like, oh, my God. And, and every man looks at their crap. Am I right, guys? Every, every person in the world looks every, at their crap. Even yeah. dogs turn around and look at their crap. Every person looks yeah. at their shit. So they eat it. like, this is a huge dump. And you look, and it's gone. It's it's a spooky bomb. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, it just went massive down. Turn. Oh, where did it go? Where did it go? Spooky. Man, he may be right. Gus. Yeah, ghost sure. bomb. Maybe. That was very thought about to say. Yeah. That was a good one. Now that I'm getting after, over the shock of all my friends betraying me, I think I'm actually... Uh, Do I have What a spooky bomb, Yeah, Barb, do you have huh? an idea? Oh, we got another little table. Oh, fucking table. Thank you. There we go. Uh, we gotta make room for all this. I'm gonna say that a spooky bomb is kind of like when you shart. Like, when you think you have to fart and then it ends up... Right, we know what a shart is. ...pooping your pants, <laughs> but it's so bad that it, like, comes out of, like, your pants, like, at the top oh, or the, at the bottom. Oh, the spooky right? bomb is when Jesus. it, it, it yeah. comes out. Yeah. Yeah, like it's it's such it's a bad down. shart that it actually removes itself from your clothes. You ever experienced that, Barbara? No, thank God. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> uh, some of those I think were close. Let's Use find out what the real things. definition was. Oh, please believe me. Real? Oh. Getting drunk and disappearing on your friends at a bar slash party, a.k.a. Irish goodbye. It's when you just that, leave. That, that doesn't make any sense. Why is that a spooky bomb? Where's the bomb? You know part? who does that? Chris Damaris. Oh fuck, Chris Damaris. Or yeah, uh, yeah Chris does. <laughs> Blaine had to Don't decide whether or not he was he was rightfully going. Yeah, fuck Chris Damaris. I can't open No, no, no. Here. He really does that though. Like I used to get offended by it. And I was like, Chris didn't leave. He didn't say goodbye or anything. But now it's just like Chris leaves and was like. Bernie also does that. I do. Yeah, I, 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 I do it. I don't understand the point of saying goodbye. But you don't go out though. <laughs> sure but, but if I do, I'm not saying goodbye. Like I, I already made the effort to be there. Yeah. So you just disappear? Yeah, just disappear. You already had to say hi to right. some people. I like give hugs to everybody. There's no point. Like... Yeah. So I liked your answer a lot, Blaine, but I'm going to give it to Gus because Gus made the most sense. Like, I think that actually should have been the definition. So I, I concur. And he's the most handsome. Yep. And he's got the best vegetable just spread. Just go ahead and suck each other's dicks already. So Team Fan Fan. Our next word for Team Rose Band. Race dressing. <laughs> <laughs> bachelor science. Bachelor science. What is bachelor science? Um, so bachelor science... <laughs> It's something I partake in every day. It's just kind of like, it's sort of like bro science, but it's like the assumption that something only a, a guy that is completely single would make. So it's like, uh, oh, you know, I didn't wash these underwear and I got to go to work and I don't have anything to wear. I only wore them once. It's fine, you know? It's just like through bachelor science that like you just kind of excuse. So it makes sort of sense only to a bachelor and their lifestyle. Yeah, it's like, uh, oh, I just took a pee. I don't really need to flush the toilet and then you walk away. Yeah. Something like that. Like, it's, yeah. it's kind of along those lines. Barbara? I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, you guys forgot the word of in there, and it's a Bachelor of Science. <laughs> uh, we didn't. I'm just, that's my definition. That's your definition? <laughs> is that Bachelor of Science is when you forget to put the word of <laughs> in Bachelor of Science. Yeah. <laughs> you are so proud of Seems that. Seems legit. This macaroni's been sitting out for 36 hours. Still edible. Bachelor of Science. Yeah, we got it, Blaine. We got it. I'm just helping prove my Bachelor point. of Science. Bachelor of Science. Bachelor of Science. Gentlemen. Bachelor of Science. You do mind if I go first? Yeah, go ahead. Is the <laughs> art of studying. <laughs> I'm sorry, not here. the art. The Bachelor of Science is the science of studying the people at a bar and figuring out who's single and who's not and who is best to approach. Oh, it's like it's like deducing, you know, odds and who who is it's a... not deduction, it's science. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> says with his drink. <laughs> Kovacier. Kovacier. <laughs> with my Kovacier. Aaron, do you have an idea? I think it's when you're uh, you make a huge scientific discovery that you've been working on for years and you're like, here it is and you have no one to share it with. 
That's oh, wow, well, that's a good one. That's bachelor science. Yeah. When you're someone like, finds, like, the discovery of, like, cure of disease and no one is around yeah, to, like, hug like, or high five. Fuck, and I've been in my underwear making the discovery, <laughs> and, yeah, that's bachelor science. Do you have moments like that when you're, like, editing and you've gotten the final edit and you're just like, I'm done, and no one's around? Yeah, all the time. No, yeah. It's always dark here. Well, you're always in your underwear when you're editing. <laughs> Let's find out what the definition was. Uh, oh, uh, bachelor science is choosing to eat at a counter even when there's an open seat at the table. So, like, when you're at a restaurant or something, or at your, no, your no, house. No, 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 that's, that, I think that's at home. Yeah, at home, mm -hmm. and you choose to eat at the counter even though you have a table you go to today. It's like the sad, like, you're just by yourself. I so would argue point? that it should actually be eating over the sink, because you don't want to get any dishes. <laughs> or on your couch at what the coffee the table. What is the science of it? I don't understand. Yeah, it that's it? like, it's, I don't know, it's Urban Dictionary. That's their idea of, like, but Don't I, question I, it. I feel cheated. Yeah. <laughs> Bachelor of Science. I think everyone here <laughs> came up with a better answer, except for Barbara. <laughs> yeah, I, okay, so I'm going to give Barbara five that. points for her answer, because it's actually pretty clever. And, but I'm going to give points to Gus on that one as well. Woo! Uh, his, uh, because his actually had to do with a bar. Yeah, Bachelor of Science, yeah. yeah. There you go. And mine had to do with a bar, Barbara. Don't make can, me take away points, Barb. Can Please. I have a new teammate? Is anybody else in the crowd willing to? Are you really <laughs> forsaking your teammate? Hey. Let's, let's find out what our final word is. <laughs> I'm kidding, Barbara. After offering to come help you. Champion juice. Champion juice. <clears throat> huh. What uh, is champion juice, is Aaron? Oh, we're sorry on me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you've been ducking out every single time. I can go if you I can, want. I can go if you don't want to. Yeah, I no. can go a bit time. For extra points, I'll take it. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I imagine it's what, like, if you're an Olympiad, and you're having sex, and then right before the moment of uh, elation, you're like, champion juice! And it's just, <laughs> and it's all over. I Hold like on. that the word you, put, you, you chose you know was the, the moment of elation. It Gus, doesn't, I don't believe it. What's champion juice? Champion juice is, okay, so, you know, let's talk about, similar to Olympians, yeah. professional athletes, okay. whenever they're, you know, not on the field, like, let's use football as an example. A football player comes off the field, uh, takes his helmet off, all the sweat and drip that comes out of the helmet, yeah. uh, that's champion juice. That's champion juice. That's the the actual juice, juice the mm -hmm. bodily juice that's of a champion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's what wins championships. It's sweat and hard work and giving 110% every week. When was the last I, time I feel you really motivated right now. Does anybody yes. want to go for like a jog or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time, man. I'm th I never would have thought I would hear Gus saying those words. Yeah. <laughs> Give me 102%. Said, we just got to go out there. We have to do it. Give at least 40%. And then <laughs> just go home. That's the Gus, Gus Drink coach. Drink Kavassier. <laughs> Drink Kavassier, give 40%. That. That's how it'll be on Gus's team. 40? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Spread out over three days. Yeah, there you go. Rose pants. Yeah. Barb, you got an idea? Uh, I think that champion juice is when there's an athlete who wins a game, whatever sport he's playing. Yeah. And then him and his teammates go out to a bar and someone buys that person a shot. Oh. And he takes a so shot. And that shot is champion juice. So when you've won a game of, of, of a sport and you go, let's go take some And someone buys you a drink. Yeah. That is your champion juice. Yeah. That doesn't make it sound as cool when Seems you're like having your... too logical and wrong. I'd like two shots of champion juice. Do you want to be put on You can't list? order champion juice. Champion juice has to be given to you yeah. by yes. definition. Yes. All right, Blaine, you got an idea? Uh, I mean, it's, it's actually really close to Gus's, so I wish I'd gone first. But it's not sweat. That's you, just You couldn't sweat. go first. It wasn't your turn. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. Maybe you can give two answers to make up for it. <laughs> it worked out so well last time. I really hate my life. Uh, <laughs> champion juice is not sweat. It's, okay, like, you know when you take off your workout shorts and there's, like, that really pungent smell? No, I it's don't. Just, it's, you don't work out. It's, there's a really, like, <laughs> there's, like, a stank. I also don't have a sense of smell. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but thank you for going for the insult route. Yeah. I'm all for it because that just means more points for us. Barbara, we just lost. Raise, <laughs> raise the pinky, drink the Kavasi. Fuck oh. me. Uh, it's that really, 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 really. Take I look like an asshole. Now. <laughs> you be fun to handicap people. In <laughs> <laughs> There's a team insensitivity over there. It's okay. It's okay. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, it's. Uh, yeah, it's it's when you, it's that really pungent smell. It's that collection of stuff at the bottom of your jock or your workout pants that's champion juice. Okay, mm. okay, that makes sense. It excretes from your butthole. It's from, <laughs> it's from working out really. Could have left it at with your previous sentence, but let's find out what the definition was. Butthole. Something that excretes from your butthole. When someone is soaked in sweat after working oh, hard. Oh, wow, so, wow. I'm pretty sure I have to give points to Gus on that one. That he basically was good, got it. Gus. Pretty sure he, you he went a little more specific with like uh, you know Champions. athletics, yeah. but. Points to Gus on I'm that. I'm not a fan yeah. of the way this is going. <laughs> no. Well, that's the end of cutting linguistics. Hey, you want to come over here? Why don't you come over? We got some food for you. We got yeah. Cavassier. You. you can just go. He also said he didn't want you on his team anymore. That's true. I remember that. Barbara, are you going to be part of Team FanFamp now? Yeah. Okay.
I'll be part of well, Rose Pants, even though the Rose Pants are over there. Will anyone be <laughs> teammates with, with We Blaine? apparently need a new teammate for Blaine. Do we have someone else? Is Bernie here? Bernie! <laughs> Bernie? No, Bernie went home. Yeah, Bernie went home. Yeah. Chris? Chris wants to be on team. Hey. Oh, thank Christ. Hey, Chris. Chris. Is gonna come. Chris. I didn't get that reaction. <laughs> thank <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. It was good. Yeah. Welcome, Chris. Yes, thank you. Welcome, yeah, welcome to the I'm show. I'm so sorry. I'm a, I'm a terrible host. Yeah, Do what you prefer. You're on Blaine's team. Oh, you already yeah, have I know. Wait, sorry. do we have anything else we can give her? Uh, do you want a new team name? Since Rose Pants just left? Uh, Champion Juice. Team Champion, Champion, Champion Juice. Juice. Hashtag Champion, Champion Juice. Champion Juice. Juice. Champion, Champion Juice. Champion Champion Juice. Alright, well thank you for uh, filling in. Uh, Blaine seems to be in constant need of teammates. Yeah. For some apparent reason. I keep losing him. Yeah. Like flies.